Hey everyone, this is Chris with Elemental Play, and uh, today I'm here to show off the Sailor Moon Crystal Dice Challenge board game. Um, <clears throat> before I dig into that, uh, I do want to show off a poster that it came with that I think is kind of neat. Um, so I'm going to move this out of the way for just a second while I try and sprawl this out because it is a pretty big poster. Uh, for any Sailor Moon fans, I guess this would probably be a good game to grab. Um, it's not heavily Sailor Moon based, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So here's the Sailor Moon poster that comes with it. Um, it's actually a pretty nice material. It's kind of a thick um, textured poster material. I don't know if I've ever found one that's made quite like this. So, um, so Crystal Dice Challenge. This is a game made by a publisher called Daiskami. Um, I don't think they're a particularly large publisher. They've only got a handful of games on their site. And I figured I'd give them a shot. They decided to do a... They treated it like a Kickstarter, but it was only on their own site. So it was kind of silly um, because it was probably pre-funded. I don't, I don't really know how that works. But... Um, you know, nonetheless, they acted like they needed to hit some goal, blah, blah, blah. You could pre-order it. So it was a pre-order. Um, <clears throat> the game wasn't, uh, particularly expensive. It is a re-theme of a game called Button Men, which was made by a company, uh, well, it was reprinted by a company called Cheap Ass Games. Um, but I believe, yeah, I believe it was a reprint. So, uh, that's out there, um... And, uh, and now this company decided to do a Sailor Moon skin for it, basically. It's, it's the same game. You can actually mix the two and play different characters from one or the other in, in the same, um, you know, in the same uh, uh, gameplay because it's just, it just meshes. Um, so why don't, uh, before we start opening, uh, this did also come with a Sailor Pluto card. So these are your character cards. These are the ones that you play off of. Um, this is a dice rolling game, and each character has a little bit of a, um, a bonus power here. Let me see if I can get that zoomed in a little. There we go. Um, so yeah, each character has their own special abilities with some explanation on the back. Um, it's a pretty long explanation, but I think the idea of this game is you pick your favorite character, you can travel around to conventions or whatever, carry a set of dice in your pocket, and you can just play the game with people who also have their character card. Um, so you kind of learn your own character after a while. So you can see on the side here, it shows off some of the characters. It's uh, an ages 10 plus, two to eight players. It can be a pretty quick or a slightly longer game, depending on how long you make it. Um, here's the back. It does, uh, supposedly come with some lanyards. So it comes with tuxedo mask. I assume he does nothing, right? Um, let's see. So there's a better picture of the box there. So why don't we get this open? We can talk about it a little more as we go. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't find my favorite knives today, so I got to be extra careful that I don't damage anything. So this just came in for me yesterday, um, and I did have it pre-ordered, so I think some people got it ahead of time. Um, there were some, uh, some expedited pre-orders. There were some people who got them at conventions before uh, the pre-orders all went out. So the game has been out for a month or so now. I think it's been available, but the actual pre-orders just came in yesterday. Uh, a lot of people were saying that they got them in yesterday online and whatnot. Um, so let's see. The box seems like it's a decent quality. It's nothing super special. It's got a, um, just like a, a sticker overlay or whatever you want to call it around cardboard. Well, let's see, we've got an instruction booklet. Looks like it's probably pretty straightforward. Um, it's got some of the character art inside. themed pretty well, but it also seems like it's, uh, you know, very much based off of the 
original game and that they didn't change it a ton. There are some tokens here, victory tokens and special abilities, um, things like that. Not a, not a lot, a single punch sheet. So if, if you're looking for punching things out, uh, this probably isn't your game, go for Small World. And then we've got some dice and this is, this is cool. So there's lots of dice in here. Um, looks like four different bags of dice to pick from. Uh, the game is very much based around having different types of dice available for your character. So for example, Sailor Pluto here, um, you would have a D4, D6, D8, and D10 to start with. And then you have ways of swapping out for a D12 and a D20. Um, I don't know the details on that, but those are things you can do. Let's check out these cool lanyards. A part of me is tempted to be that nerd at, you know, PAX Unplugged this year that shows up with, <laughs> with a Sailor Moon lanyard, but at the same time, I don't think I can bring myself to. I'm just not that guy. Um, but hey, I guess if you see someone wearing one of these, you know that they have the game. Um, little sleeve. It's got two of them here. They're kind of, honestly, kind of a cheap quality sleeve, but a sleeve nonetheless. They'll do the job. And then these lanyards. These are, these are kind of cute. Um, it's got all the characters there. You can probably see them. Let me, let me give a close up of those. The little, little chibi versions. That's cute. All right. There's two of those. So this is set up pretty well for two people to, uh, to do whatever they like, but the game is, is still, is still well planned for, um, the full eight. Uh, all right, it feels like this has, let me get back in focus here. This is the biggest struggle. Um, it does feel like this has a pull tab, so let's find it. Yeah, there it is. Of course, I can never get these. They always put them on the side. I don't know why that is. The sides are way more prone to getting damaged. I don't know if I can get the knife under it. No, see, I can't even get the knife under it. That's... I'm gonna pull away for a second here while I try and work this out. Um, so this game was kind of an impulse buy for me. I thought it was I thought it was cute. Um, I thought I might like to give it a shot. Uh, here I'm kind of getting inside it now. Let's see if I can get it open. Um, I don't normally buy games that are produced by cheap ass. Um, I'm not a fan of many of their games, but this one was, you know, technically handled by a different company. I assume that they had some sort of affiliation with each other, but um, just not my style. But I made an exception for this. I have a soft spot for Sailor Moon. Uh, it was a little bit part of my childhood, I guess. Not in that I was, you know, a huge Sailor Moon fan or anything, but I certainly watched it when I was younger. Um, all right, so, yep, so here you can see again, there's got the, you've got the dice cards on top, you've got, or the dice markers on top, you've got ways of swapping out your dice, and you've got a, a special power, um, that you can use. This, uh, I'm guessing, since this doesn't have the details on the back, it's because, uh, all the information is in the instruction booklet. So we'll take a look at some of the sailors and characters that are available oh that's right princess serenity was a separate character wasn't she that was a thing queen serenity i don't think she was a separate character was she i don't know neo queen serenity they're really digging okay there's chibi she's obviously the best character next to luna i don't know why they had to share a card for them they could have made two different cards um Zoisite? I, I'm going to butcher some of these. It's really been a long time since I've watched it. Jadeite. Dark Bright. Wow. They really, really went, really went all out with this. Oh, I remember Black Lady. Wow. I mean, this was one of the, one of the earliest, um, pretty girl slash, um, uh, Magical girl 
animes. So these characters are great. Oh, what, do I just throw these cards at someone? I guess that's the idea. They're just a bunch of cute little challenge cards. That's cute. It's unnecessary, but cute. <laughs> Tuxedo mask being all sassy. All right. Um, I think that's everything that's in there. So it's really, it's really, really, really a straightforward game as far as I can tell. It's uh, you and your opponent are going to take your dice, you're going to roll against each other, and you're going to use them to try and steal each other's dice back and forth, and then you can use the stolen ones. Um, I don't know if the full gameplay idea is that you actually keep the dice afterwards, and then, you know, your opponent is, is down on those or how that works, but... Um, you know, that seems like a, maybe a, a fun way to play it, if not frustrating. <laughs> so anyway, so that is the Sailor Moon, uh, Crystal Dice Challenge. It is, um, up on Daiskami's website, if that's something you're looking for. Uh, they have another Sailor Moon game as well, which I did not pick up. It was a little bit more of a children's game, it seemed like, um, but, you know, this is this is cool since they seem to be bringing back some of the older animes. I know they just brought back Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, I think I've heard rumor of Sailor Moon coming back. So this is this is a timely decision for them that I'm sure uh, the coincidence was not so much a coincidence. But, um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, come back again soon. I've got plenty of other videos on my site or on my YouTube for you to check out. Um, lots of uh, board game unboxings, card game unboxings, video game unboxings. Uh, I have some video game playthroughs and uh, I will be adding more of those types of content. If you're interested in seeing anything in particular, whether it's gameplay of a video game or a board game or um, any of that sort of stuff, let me know. I will be happy to at least try and get that together. I can't promise that it's all doable. Um, some games, like Vita games, are particularly hard to capture, but that's that doesn't mean it's impossible. So um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter, and uh, follow me on YouTube, obviously, because this is where the cool stuff is. And I hope to see you again. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.